So this is um, what I think of as a resourcing relaxation. And I think relaxation is uh, usually quite resourcing. It gives us more energy, ultimately. Um, uh, perhaps a clearer, calmer mind. Helps us to let go of all sorts of physical and mental tension that can get in the way of... Uh, of feeling optimal. And this one also contains a visualization which, which I call the resourcing bubble. Um, it can be very useful, especially for introverts that find themselves uh, with a lot of people around them, or you find yourself with people or even one person that's kind of intense for whatever reason for you to, to be with. Uh, it can be super useful to create a bit of solitary space whilst not being alone. You, you can also use it when you're alone, but I particularly use it when I find other people a bit much. So it's useful to start with sensing the ground again so coming down to the ground with our awareness of the connection that the body makes whether it's just your feet whether it's not the ground but a chair or a bed that's all okay but tuning into this structural support that your body has Feeling the solidity of that. And then going up to sense your body. I'm taking you through this quite slowly, but if you get familiar with it, you can do it quite quickly uh, in company, I find. But from the ground, going up through the body, let's just start at the soles of the feet. It doesn't really matter then if you're sitting, standing or lying. Sense your feet the soles of your feet, your toes, your ankles, your calves and shins, knees, thighs, hips, buttocks, pubic area, all of the pelvis, and going up, the waist, the belly, the lower back, upper back, Rib cage, shoulders, upper chest and collarbones, and then the arms, upper arms, elbows, forearms, hands, fingers. And then going back up to the shoulders and the neck, front and back of the neck, feel free to move any part of the body where you do find tension, I just found some around my neck, so a micro movement is often helpful. To let that go. 
and then aware of your head, face, ears, eyes, nose, mouth, aware of the whole body. Aware that inside your body is definitely your personal space. The boundary is the skin. And sometimes people just come into what we normally consider our personal space, which is about an arm length all the way around us, apparently. Sometimes people get a little close physically. Sometimes it feels that feels like they're invading that space because of you know, how they speak or their mood, their behavior. So from this sense of your skin, awareness of your skin, which is definitely a boundary, a boundary you can feel, expand outwards. And you can choose you know, how big you want this space to be, this resourcing bubble that I'm going to encourage you to create in your mind. And you might sometimes you know, have it very close to your skin, like some kind of um, well-fitting suit. Or you might want it about an arm's length all the way around you. You might want it much bigger. You might want to imagine it as big as the room and everyone else is squashed up against the walls. It's entirely up to you. Imagine what would feel a nice size bubble right now, size and shape. I usually imagine it as a round sphere, a bit like a Christmas bauble. I also imagine it more movable, kind of soft, like a soap bubble, but stronger. Imagine some kind of space around you that has a boundary. So there's a second boundary, your skin, uh, the first one, and then second boundary. And you might be aware that this boundary needs to be of a certain flexibility and strength. And I would suggest that it is a little flexible, that we're not necessarily blocking everything out. You might, if you're using this practically at a social gathering, you might still actually be conversing with someone and still want to put this protective boundary around yourself. So maybe it has some sense of not being completely solid like a wall or anything like that but still firm enough to feel protected and then once you've got that in your imagination you might be feeling it more than seeing it. That's okay. Just do it however works for you. Then you can imagine it being full of a soothing or somehow resourcing light. So it might be soothing, it might be calming, it might be energizing, there might be sparkles in it. It might have a particular 
color. You might even want to imagine a scent like citrus for uplifting, lavender for calming. You can imagine you're just creating your own little atmosphere around you. Uh, that's just for you. Take a moment to create that. Imagine that the atmosphere in the bubble gives you just what you need. Maybe joyful ease. Quietness, protection. If you'd like to, you could imagine you know, being somewhere or with someone where you think this bubble might be useful. Imagine you're at a social gathering or interacting as if you're seeing yourself from the outside, but with this bubble around you, which nobody else can see. It's like a magic cloak, some kind of superpower. Imagine you can do everything that you need to do, eat, drink, interact, and still have this invisible bubble or cloak around you as a resource. Then come back to imagining you're inside it, putting yourself again at the center of it. Relaxing in this protective bubble. Taking in its goodness. Imagine the goodness, the resources can actually be absorbed into you. Maybe imagine this warm light or fresh air that you're breathing in. And that you can then begin to embody those qualities a little bit more. And then imagine the, uh, the, this resourcing bubble somehow dissolving. It might be, um, it might pop like a soap bubble. You might like to imagine that there's a sense of the, the little droplets of soap falling on your skin, it might dissolve as light and go into your heart. 
but imagine that it's kind of stays with you in some concentrated form, whether it's an imagined drop of fairy liquid uh, on your skin or a, a little flame of light in your heart center. Know that you can create this protective bubble at any time, this resourcing or protective bubble any time. And if you practice it with it a few times, especially when you kind of feel relatively okay, it's harder to do if you're in a state of overwhelm or immense irritation with someone. Um, you know, sometimes it's best to actually leave the room and <laughs> make an excuse and go somewhere else, of course. Um, but the more you practice with it, the easier it is to, to have a sense of it whilst you know, being able to continue normal conversation, etc. So creating a little haven wherever you are. So, as we end this relaxation practice, it can be useful again to feel the, the boundaries of yourself, where you begin and end, where the floor begins and ends, or the bed, the blanket, your clothes. And um, when you're ready to open your eyes and also see the space around you. And move your body any way you like to feel the boundaries of your body.